Hey everybody, so I figured I'd make this video to kind of want to update people and number two to kind of give myself a reminder a year from now since I'm making this around my birthday and I like to do these videos around my birthday so I can look back and see what's changed from the year before. So what has changed in the past year from my last birthday? Well, the big, the, yeah, the biggest thing is I've gotten out of my dad's house. For those of you that don't know, um, I've been living with my dad for the past several years. I'm pretty sure that some people wonder, well, why don't you move out of your dad's house? The truth is I've actually moved out a few times before, and uh, this is the third time that I've actually moved out. Uh, every time that I've had to move back in, it's been due to bad roommate situations. And the last time I moved back in was in 2011. I meant to stay for six months or less. Ended up staying for about five years. And the plan was to work a normal job Job, um, and then also create a business on the side to kind of make up for the uh, amount of money that I needed to survive on my own. And that ended up not, uh, not happening quite like I thought it was because in my head I was like, okay, I'm going to start a side business. This business is going to explode or grow at a certain rate. And that ended up not happening because I ended up miscalculating the speed at which the business was going to grow. Turns out they're harder to run than I anticipated. So uh, that's, just not, that's not something that I've still given up on. I still am in the process of trying to build up another, uh, another business, to build up a business in general, an online business, and one day be able to completely survive off that because I don't trust uh, the job world. Let's just say that. Um, I can make a whole video about that. I'm not going to make that the focal point of this video though. So. That was the plan, and um, the business thing is still something I'm working on building up. So, um, long story short, my dad was going to sell his house. He's been talking about it for a long time, and in 2016, he finally did get rid of his house. And uh, I had to make a move and find some other place to live. So, long story short, some of you know my buddy Clay. We've been friends for like 15 or so years, around 2000, somewhere in that ballpark. And uh, his lease was running out, so he and I got an apartment, and that's now where I'm living right now. So that was a big change, is that my residence has changed. And um, along with that, I've also, I've also gone through a lot of weight loss, which I did not anticipate at all. I knew I was overweight uh, last year, and I kept on meaning to try to lose weight. Well, it turns out that when we got approved for this apartment, um, over the next couple of months, I noticed that I was starting to lose weight. Like, not just not just two, three pounds here and there, but like noticeably lose weight, like my pants are getting looser and things like that. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and then I traced it, I, I kind of traced it back, and I was like, oh, it's right around the time we signed our lease. I did not realize that it was all that stress associated with actually trying to get moved out, so. Um, and then, long story short, we got approved, we signed the lease and all that stuff like that, and over the four or five months after that, I lost about 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, was it about five foot eight, 215 ish, and now I'm at about 170. You know, it fluctuates, you know, up and down a little bit, but roughly I'm at 170. I lost a lot of weight this year, about 40 to 50 pounds. I dropped at least, I dropped one or two pant sizes, which was nice, but at the same time, it also gets kind of annoying to have to buy a new pair of pants, when you just bought a new pair of pants not too long ago. The kind of downside that came with all that is I also started having other symptoms, like I lost weight, and right around that time, I started having symptoms of what I think is diabetes. So um, I drink a lot of liquids. I drink a lot of, um, I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of Sprite, Dr. Pepper, milk, chocolate milk. Um, of course, if you really know me, that's not that weird for me. I drink chocolate milk pretty often anyway, but um, that's one thing I've been going through is having chalk mouth a lot, having a lot of sometimes endless thirst where I just cannot basically quench it, and then I start getting full because I drink so much, and then I feel like I have to lay down, which kills practically any productivity whatsoever that I planned out. And uh, so that's one thing. Um, something else is um, I've been having a lot of leg cramps when I'm laying down, so it's become more prevalent. Like last year, I don't even remember having leg cramps at all. And earlier this year, they started becoming rampant. It's very annoying because imagine waking up uh, at you know in the middle of the night or the middle of the day, whenever your whatever your safe schedule is, and having to like walk around the room or you know basically walk around your house or your apartment just to try to get the, the tension in your leg to go away so that you can lay it back down. And hopefully, not have the cramp retrigger again. Very annoying, and um, so that's been a problem that's been essentially happening every single day that I, or every single night that I sleep. I kind of gotten used to it about as well as you can, I guess, but it's still very, very, very incredibly annoying. Not to gross some of you out or be too graphic, but I've also been going to the bathroom a lot. Um, I'm not, I don't think it's a bladder infection. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it might be another symptom of being diabetic, um, if that's what I actually am. Pretty sure I am to some degree because my dad is. 
Once they go to the bathroom a lot, I mean to the point where it interferes with other activities. It interferes with sleep, it interferes with really anything I do. Even, even if I'm sitting down to, playing, uh, to play a video game, like I just recently beat uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, for those of you who know what that is, and right now I'm working on beating um, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And like every, I'd say probably 30 minutes, to, uh, yeah, probably about every half hour I had to go to the bathroom. Even if I'm sleeping, it interrupts my sleep, it interrupts playing a you know, video game, it interrupts you know, working on business stuff, it, it interrupts everything. With limited funds, I need to get my gear checked right now. I need to get um, I need to get new glasses as well because I've had these for three, four, maybe five years, I don't know. I've had it to the point where some, sometimes now I can take my glasses off and read something that's maybe decent reading distance, like on the table in front of me, and I can actually read it better sometimes without my glasses. So that's kind of where I am right now in my life. I'm trying to improve my business, improve my business endeavors. I'm trying to get back into making videos more often because videos also help me practice talking and, re and delegating my speech so I'm not stumbling and mumbling as quite as much. I'm also working on getting more creative with video because there's been a lot of things that I've been wanting to do and in my mind I've been telling myself, okay, I'll start to get into that kind of stuff once I move out of the house and I'm out of the house so I don't really have an excuse anymore. Pretty much what's been going on with me. I need to get shit to see if I have diabetes. I need to get new glasses soon. I want to get back on my EDD medication soon. I've been in this new place now for a little while and and, um, and it has its ups and downs, of course, because I'm not used to living with upstairs neighbors and things like that. But uh, for the most part, um, well, I guess my weight loss speaks for itself. My weight loss in general says that life is pretty good and uh, could be a lot worse, I'll put it that way. So right now, I am not. I wouldn't say that I'm where I want to be, um, especially because the, um, the vent ahead of, uh, over me just kicked in, so now you're going to be hearing background noise. Great. Um, so I would not say that I'm exactly where I want to be. Uh, in life at the moment, but I'm in a pretty decent place um, and I have an idea of where I want to go and I have an, I also have an idea of how to get there. So uh, yeah, with that said, this video is probably bit, probably run on too long. I don't know how long it'll be after I edit this, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you know more about where I am in life now than you did and I'm about to wrap this video up. So thanks for watching and I'm out.